My brothers and sisters, we are human beings. It is only natural and normal that sometimes we feel very happy and sometimes we feel sad. So when we are happy, we need to ask ourselves, what is it that has made us happy? If it is the relationship you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is something everlasting. If it is something material connected to this world, remember it is temporary and the day will come when Allah will test you by reversing it. It has to be. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said clearly that if you are given and bestowed something, it is not a guarantee that that item will remain with you. In a verse in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah explains, we will definitely test every single one of you with some of fear, with some of hunger, and with several different types of loss. It's a long verse, but what I want to look at today is when we are sad, what exactly do we need to do? Firstly, ask yourself, is my relationship with the maker, the owner of happiness, good? Is it intact? Is it proper? For example, if I am a person who has no link with Salah, no link with the Quran, no link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how do I expect to combat the sadness that I am feeling? I will continue feeling more sad because I have lost focus. Lost focus from what? from the reality, the destination, from exactly where I am. This is known as the world. In Arabic, we call it the dunya, this life. The life on earth is absolutely temporary. It is not going to last long. We, in actual fact, are here to be tested. It is a testing ground. Evidence regarding the fact that this is a testing ground is that none of us has what we want in this world. Rather, we only get what Allah has chosen for us. So he tests us with health matters, financial matters, family matters, so many other different issues, different types of loss. Things do not happen according to how we want them to happen because Allah is telling you, hang on, this is just a test. We want to see how you react. Will this bring you closer to us? Will it make you realize that it is temporary, absolutely temporary? People we found are very sad today and some news comes to them within a split second. They can become the happiest people on earth and vice versa. We've seen it happening. So this is Allah. He is the one who gives you glad tidings. You become so excited after you were so sad and you can become so sad after you believed you had everything on earth. This is Allah's plan. Do not lose focus. It is Allah. However, like I said, when you are sad, the first question you have to ask yourself, how is my relationship with Allah? That relationship is connected to your salah, primarily your five daily prayers. Do you read them with enthusiasm? We are not even talking about regularity because that is supposed to be the case anyway. But we're talking about enthusiasm. Do you look forward to the prayer? Do you realize what you are doing when you are reading or fulfilling the five daily prayers? Sit for a moment and think it will snatch your sadness. It will withdraw. It will combat the sadness you are feeling just by thinking for a moment. What am I doing? Who am I putting my head on the ground for here? Who is it? The one who made me, the one who owns my happiness, the one who's in control and ultimately the one I'm going to go back to when my eyes close like everybody else's eyes have already closed and are closing and will close. I'm going to go back to the supreme deity whom I've just put my head on the ground for Allahu Akbar. It is powerful. If you sit and ponder over it, that alone will help you to remove the sadness in your life. Because even if everything is going against your liking, you are assured that it is going according to the plan of Allah. Nothing goes according to someone else's plan. It is Allah's plan. So it makes you happy to say, Oh Allah, if this is your plan for me, then Ya Allah, just make it easy for me to go through. I'm not going to compete with you. We can never compete with Allah. But we call out to him. He gives us the energy. He gives us various means to try and help ourselves. And he expects us to use what he has given us to help ourselves.